ZVP is a matchup that I'm not really confident in, but I do well in. Uh, at least so far this season, so. I'm not... I'm pretty confident in this match. I think it could go... In all honesty, I think it could go either way. It really does depend. Who plays better? Uh, I mean, obviously, but who's playing 100%? Because I think at 100%, he beats me, maybe 60-40. Um, but if he's not playing 100%, I'm playing a little bit better, then I take it. So... Because he just plays Protoss all day while I fuck around in the Gold League is random, right? So... I'm gonna go... I think I'm gonna go 3 Hedge, because... I have never known him to be someone... Like, if he just proxy gates me... And goes full meta on Dust Towers, that would be beautiful. That would be great. I would not even be mad. Okay, I'd be a little mad. But, like, I would not be surprised. That's a smart-ass move. The mind game would be real. It's a pretty late probe to be proxy-gating, though. Or a cannon rush for that same matter. But I did expand outwards, which kind of decreases the effectiveness of a cannon rush overall. I don't think he's doing that, though. He's gonna see everything he needs. I have the overlords in the most defensive positions as well, for the most part. To see if there's any adept harass coming out is most of the reason. Extractor trick out. Pretty standard so far. I think he won Nexus first. No, I'm a sticking gas. And just casually fly through. Hmm. Mama Core. Gotta avoid that pylon. Anyone stalker? I was probably going to end up being a Stargate bag there sooner rather than later. I'm going to try a fresh meta build. Oh yeah. If he gets in with that probe, that's a problem. So I need to try to deny that. See if he has anything to follow up. Get my road speed here. And he uses the force field as well. So it's all good right now. Oh, 
getting Spore Crawlers just in case he somehow got... I don't think he could have really gotten DTs or anything by now, but... Not with three bases, that is. But I just kept him from getting a Hallucinated Phoenix, by the way, with that force field. No hallucination. Which is really good for me when I'm doing something like this. Which is just a big attack before he can get his tech up to where it wants to be. He's going to pick up one roach at a time here. And he knows this is going to be incredibly dangerous. And he's going to have time to prepare. But this was a good choice of build, based on what he did. I'm going to try to bait out as many overcharges as I can as quickly as possible. He will defend with the power of the Void Ray, it looks like. And the double Stargate. But I will get the base, which is a big, big, big deal. And I'm going to get my fourth. And he used most of his energy here. I see he's transitioning as well. Yeah, he's using his energy on the, the roaches, which means he's not using it on my drones, which is the important part here. He has no choice but to use his energy on this, is the thing. So uh, pretty much I'm keeping him on that other side of the map. That's the important part as he remakes this. And I'm adding on Zerglings here. Pick off a Phoenix. As we go forward, switch to a Lurker done as well. And he's trying to get whatever pickoffs he can, but he's on the wrong side of the map for that. The only chance is if he somehow gets, uh... I already baited out a lot of his overcharges here. I'm trying to trigger some of the, uh, barriers as well. As many as possible here, ideally. Does he actually have this base? He does not. So I just need to keep the pressure on. With the uh, bases that I do have. I need more drones in general. I'm about to have a lurker down though, so 
so that's helpful. But I've got the unit composition I need. Just a few lurkers should make the difference. He's holding on pretty strong. A little bit stronger than I expected. Not too much stronger, though. He's going to try for another base very soon, I'm sure. As we see here. Making sure no war prisms become a serious threat here. Oh, terrible engagement angle though. He has too many. In the way of immortals here. Does he have a secondary observer? He does now. He needs to get another base, though. That second observer. Yeah, that wasn't a great angle for me, in general. I'm getting the Bane Nest here. He didn't have that many Archons. I need to keep him off that base, pretty much, if possible. Losing all of those is pretty big for him and for me. That was another big pick. Some big losses here so far. Need to get this base while I set up for potentially a solid surround. I only have a couple lurkers here. This is bad. So I'm coming back to defend. Storms are good. This army composition is difficult to beat with the tech I currently have. He's built up the death ball. Pretty much you need Broodlords to deal with this at the moment. And I don't have Broodlords. Once he gets like 10 Immortals... Ugh. I didn't quite capitalize. Did he lose his detection? No, he babysit the Observer just well enough. He has 0-0 zero, zero on these units? What? GG. Uh, he had zero zero and it did that much? I underestimated it. So he didn't have, he had a forge, but he never got upgrades on that. Alright, what map to pick? I'm trying to think. <clears throat> 